Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is Ash Owen Gaming. Hope you're all doing great. What a beautiful view, eh? Right, shall we get to it? There's our girl, grazing. Right, what choice? We have John or Hosea. I'm going to John. Said that big to begin with. I was going to get a John. That's what we'll do. Need to fill that up. Need to fill that up. And I need to fill that up. And then we got our horse. Stimulant. Here we go. Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them don't get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Oh, so I'm stealing horses. Okay. Go to the stables on the south side of the land. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Yeah. Ha! Makes me wonder what Hosea's mission is. We can't do that one. I don't think we can anyway. I'm hoping they'll let us, or at least give us a chance to do it. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. Third of that, it'll be worth it. 
Time we gonna play this. The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. It's making me wonder there's going to be some sort of trap here because they keep using his name, his proper name. At the beginning, he was saying he a different name, wasn't he? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. I was holding X then up and he's meant to be following the leader but he's not following. Strange. Isn't that working? I'm trying to show you how, what is got usually when you do that you're meant to be able to you're meant to follow the leader, aren't you? For some reason it's not letting me. So I've got to hitch my horse over here on its own. It's alright, girl. Let me do the talk. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working if that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from saratoga is that so unofficially of course this here's cerberus <laughs> hot greaser huh okay bandana's on don't need nobody recognizing us Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Easy. You're okay. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna... Whoa. Oh, this horse is not happy, is it? Settle down, boy. Easy. 
Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Well, that was tense. I need got him then. See any more of them? No? Don't think so. Alright, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before we're running into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? That one's on that face. One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'm She's playing up, or oh, he's playing up. Over here. Jesus, his horse. Gotcha. Whoa. Come on. Come on, stallion. for horses. I guess we'll see. You pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. 
That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. Javier, I got so you, man. You? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? You're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. <laughs>